Now, here we have a document, and one of the things that's missing is numbering, isn't it? If we look back here at our lovely um, thesis, we can see we've got some numbering going on there, haven't we? Now, I am sure, I am actually positive that everybody here knows how to number like this. If I type something and I go in here and I get a number and then I get another number and I get another number. That's all easy peasy. You all know how to do that. I can even indent it and make it go a next level down. However, that's how do you do that with the headings? How do you do that? Well, because you've used heading styles, it's really easy. Instead of using these ones, which you've probably already seen and are used to, we're going to use, and I actually like to have my cursor right at the top when I do this, and I do not highlight any text. The reason why I say this is because sometimes it causes problems because it just tries to do it to just the text that you've selected. So I like to start at the top because I want to start at one. Yeah, that's just my own little, you know, thing, but um, that's what I do. So I'm right at the top of the document. I don't select the this. I don't do that. I just I'm at the top of my document with my cursor blinking. Then I choose, next to the normal numbering is another type of numbering called multi-level list, which again you may have used, but you may not have used the right one. So if I look at these, that's the one I was demonstrating before, the normal one. But if you look at this one, can you see how it says heading 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? That means that it's going to apply that numbering to anywhere where you have heading 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. So, let's click it. Oh, look at that. That's a wow. wow. Yeah. And not just that, if I drag this up and put it somewhere else, guess what? It's going to be renumbered. <laughs> you don't have to sit there and do it and work it out. If I make this into a, a, a lower level heading, which is that's heading three, so if I make that into head, heading five, look at that. How cool is that? That's just super cool, yeah? All right, that, what else would you like to do though? Some people are not happy with this. Some people want more. <laughs> and you can have more. So what I hear from people is that they might want the word chapter in front of it. Yeah? Who wants chapter in front of their chapters? Yes. Who knows how to do it? Oh, why are you here? <laughs> Come up the front. Old version. Yes. When the new version came along, everything just went. Did and, it? Um, so. I really Are you talking old version 2003? Could be. Yeah. Because. <laughs> and then all the top, across the top, completely threw me. So we haven't actually used master documents for the last five years, oh. Oh. and now I want to do my thesis with it. Don't use master documents. I'll get to this. Mm. But yeah. Uh, but yes, you're quite right. If you've gone from 2003 to 2007 or 2003 to 2010, you'll find this really different because it looks different, but lots of the features are still available. So that's why you know all the features, but you don't know where to find them maybe. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so we are in our number. We want the word chapter in front. Uh, and the way we do that is by first of all, which we've already done, is applying what comes closest to what we want it to look like, yeah? Because why reinvent the wheel? Why, you know, start typing and doing all this yourself? So basically that's the one that looks closest to what I want it to look like, and which I've already selected, so I don't need to select it again. But now I'm going to say, define a new multi-level list, right? So I'm going to change the one that I've got. I'm going to click that here. And can you see here how we've got all the nine headings listed there and how they will look if they're in order? Can you see on the left hand side there, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. That means if it's heading two, it's level two, yeah? So I'm on level one, heading one. Here's the number that would happen. Now see if there's something gray in your document. Have you ever noticed that when you put your EndNote references in your document, they're gray? You know when you see something gray in your document? Don't touch it, don't edit it. It is something automatic is going to happen. This is. For the introduction, this will be number one, but for the next chapter, that will be number two. So if it's grey, don't mess with it. But I can put my cursor in front of it and type the word, oops, chapter. 
click OK, and bingo. Wow. Thanks, <laughs> Helen. <laughs> All right, so that's how you do it.